Every college basketball team seems to have that one shot in history that helps define the program. Today marks the 35th anniversary of such a shot for Wright State. Mike Grody hit a buzzer beater to give the Raiders a win that helped propel them to the 1983 Division II National Championship. Kentucky Westland, at that time, a big rival for us. Every time we played at Westland, we would have a whole bunch of fans down there. It was a migration from Fairborn to Owensboro, Kentucky. We hung in there in the second half, and then it got to a, a free throw shooting contest. They're up a point, so if he makes both free throws, the game's over because there's no three-point shot at that time. Well, he misses the free throw, and we get the rebound. I know as coaches we were thinking, should we call timeout? You know, to set something up, or should we just let it go? Well, we hit an advantage. We hit a three on two. Tom was our best shooter. How dare I not pass him the ball? <laughs> so I did. The ball hits the left side of the rim, takes a direct bounce along the baseline, and Mike Grody, bless his heart, he's running full speed. 99 times out of 100, when I made that pass, I would not have kept going. Mike jumps, sticks his right arm out. I'm falling down. Nothing's on the ground, um, so I have nothing to stabilize myself, and I'm not going to claim I knew what I was doing. Um, I just threw it. And the ball hit every side of the rim and went in. Biggest fear was that the clock had expired. We were playing at Kentucky Wesleyan, and so I looked up at the clock. I saw the score change, and then I proceeded to run and yell at every Kentucky Wesleyan fan in that arena. <laughs> and the rest is history.